Hello, welcome to the BMC Learning Series. Today we'll be covering Main View for Kicks Basics, Diagnosing Task-Related Problems. In diagnosing issues, we often need to have a closer look at the running tasks. In this course, we'll cover how to view information about real-time and historical tasks using Main View for Kicks. Let's start with the easy SSI menu. Scrolling down, we see the Task Views section. From here, we hyperlink to User Tasks. By default, the tasks are sorted first by target, then by task number. We can change this sort with a simple command. For example, by entering O or Sort in the command field and placing the cursor in the column CPU Time, this will show us the same view sorted in descending order of CPU consumption. After the sort, the task with the transaction ID GR02 is on top. We see that the task 213 on target CAGA is taking a lot of CPU time, so we'll hyperlink on this task ID to get more details. Because of the very high CPU consumption, we'll have a look at the CPU time data. Here we see that all the CPU is consumed in QRTCB. It seems likely that it is stuck in a tight loop. So we decide to eliminate the task. We can do this with several different commands. CAN, PURE, TKI, all have problems with CPU loops though. They only gain control when the task issues the exec kicks command. So our other options include delete, kill, for. So we'll enter in the line command kill or KIL. This kills a task without a dump, as long as the integrity of the kicks region can be maintained. By the way, the online help system describes all these options in great detail. So this is the result after the kill command. Of course, killing manually is not the only way main view for kicks can eliminate misbehaving tasks. In real kicks environments, you can use the task kill exit, or you can build an automated solution in auto operator based on the low level monitors. For a complete history of all transactions available, you must define a place for storing the transaction history. In general, you will use a pair of vSAM datasets for each and every KICS system. We use the administrative dialog for, to do this. Here we select the responsible paths by hyperlinking on the target name. Now we drill down on transaction detail history file definitions. CMRDETL is a tabular view of the main view for KICS Task Performance Detail History File. Definitions are maintained in the CMR DTL00 member of the BPI PARM parameter library of the BBI SS PAS. A target specification contains the name of one or more KICS regions whose main view for KICS Task Performance Detail History data is to be extracted and stored on the related main view for kicks task performance detail history file. Target names may contain wildcards and are separated by commas. When you set the create option to yes, the necessary datasets are automatically allocated and initialized if they don't already exist. For less important kicks systems, you can consider using data space instead of the datasets. To access the transaction history, we use the History menu and hyperlink on Quick Selection. Or we enter the command C History. In both cases, we'll see the selection panel. The C History dialog provides an easy way to define search criteria for retrieving history records. C History enables you to do several things, such as define up to three values for various selection masks. Restrict the search within various qualifiers. Define the time frame to be searched. And define the number of records returned by the search. In our example, 
We want to select all transactions starting with GR. We enter a mask and you can see that wildcards are allowed. 16 transactions starting with GR are displayed. The red color indicates that three of them are abended. Similar to drilling down from the task view, we can hyperlink on the task number to get more details. Let's choose the one with the highest CPU time, 213. Now we choose which details to view. Let's look at CPU time data. This display is deliberately designed to bear a close resemblance to the real-time display, Task DC, what we saw before. And this is true for all detail history views and their real-time companions. If a transaction has abended like this one, the Task Overview CHIST D shows the ABEND codes in the lower right corner. Here it is AICA. In Kix environments with very high transaction rates, let's say 1,000 per second or more, follow these guidelines. Select only one Kix or a small group of Kix systems at a time. If necessary, increase the default and maximum for both record count and exclude count. These limits are defined in the SBB prof member BDRDEF. Next time you enter main view for kicks, you'll see these new definitions we saved. Using main view explorer, we have the same capabilities to access transaction history. Selecting the see history view, a pop-up will appear. We enter gr star into the transaction mask and select go. Again, 16 transactions starting with gr are displayed. The red color indicates that three of them are abended. To get more details, we'll use the defined history link on the task number. So again, let's choose the one with the highest CPU time, and we saw earlier this is 213. Now we can choose which details to view. Let's look at CPU time data. Here we see that all the CPU is consumed in QRTCB. That concludes this session on Main View Kicks, finding task related problems. For more videos on Main View and other BMC solutions, please visit our BMC Mainframe YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash BMC Software Mainframe slash featured. That's it for this session. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.